You are all in for a big treat now. I've got Gareth Russell on. He is a historian and a broadcaster, educated at Oxford University and Queen's University, Belfast. He's the author of nine books, and he's got all the scoop on an obsession of many Americans, the royal family. Thanks for being on Lift Up, Gareth. Oh, it, thank you. It's a wonderful topic to write about, so I'm glad people are enjoying it. Our family went to London recently, and we went all over. We went to every historical landmark, but we didn't have all the secrets. You know that that palace is haunted by one of Henry VIII's wives. Like, do you actually believe that? Is it really haunted? What is the story there? <laughs> well, I was a bit skeptical, and I was in this, it's a long corridor called the Haunted Gallery, and I was standing there one day with some colleagues, and I said, well, I don't really know if I believe in this, and at that moment, the chandelier above my head <laughs> began to flicker, so I did not not believe in it enough to stay in the room. <laughs> <laughs> This is how I put it. So the story is that in the winter of 1541, Henry VIII's fifth wife, Queen Catherine Howard, who was about 18 or 19 at this stage, is arrested at Hampton Court under suspicion of premarital sex, so not being a virgin when she married the king. And in a panic, she escapes her guards and runs screaming down the corridor, begging her husband, who's in a room at the end of the corridor, to show her mercy. And just before she gets there, the guards catch her and drag her screaming back to her rooms. The king is so perturbed by how panicked she is that he orders a search of her friend's rooms at Hampton Court and discovers a love letter that she wrote to one of his advisors, a very handsome man called Thomas Culpepper, after her marriage. So the queen, Culpepper, and the lady in waiting who carried the messages all end up executed. So the story is there sometimes is a scream heard in the haunted gallery. A lot more people, including Tracy Borman, who's the curator there, record this sort of chilling feeling of dread in the haunted gallery that's allegedly the ghost of Queen Catherine. And what's your favorite story? What is the one thing that you uncovered while doing research? Oh, there there's a really moving story that actually the coffin of the unknown warrior at the end of the First World War was made on the king's orders from an oak from Hampton Court because he wanted the warrior to be surrounded by the best of Britain, which I think is really incredibly moving. But honestly, some of the stories that I loved were how servants cleaned themselves, how they slept, how they made chocolate. There was just a lot of really good stories. But if I had to pick one, it's that King Charles II, who was king in the 1660s, had quite a few lady friends. He had a very densely populated romantic life. And one of his mistresses, an actress called Nell Gwynne, said that she bore no animosity towards any of her competitors. She didn't feel threatened. And she even sent candies to one of the other mistresses, which she thought was a lovely gesture until she realized that Nell had pumped the candies full of laxatives to take out one of her rivals. So that's the kind of story I just love. Well, I know I might be speaking for myself, but I've been loving so many documentaries that they have out there. I watch every documentary on the Royals from the beginning of time until now. And I know so many are obsessed with The Crown that's on Netflix right now. What are your thoughts on that series? Sometimes I feel like people read too much into it. They think it's supposed to be a historical depiction. Some people see it as entertainment. Based on your expertise, what do you think? I think it's gorgeous. I think it's sumptuous. I think it's phenomenally acted. I think it also shows people a lot of the pressures and the humanity of the royal family. And as you say, there are documentaries, there are non-fiction books that you can go and read and extend your research if you want to afterwards. But what I say is enjoy a really good drama. Oh my God, that was fascinating. I hope all of you watching thought so as well. I cannot wait to read this book. It is on my list for this year. Thank you for being on Lift Up, Gareth. Thank you for having me. It was such a pleasure. Okay, when we come back, it is time to change the world with our good friend, intelligent beauty contributor, Frances Tesmer, and you are going to love what she has to say. <laughs> 